Sure. So just like all the plates and uh, cups are unique, these are unique too. So look at these glasses here. You can put your scotch in there, Ted, because I know you like it. Uh, these are a great find from VB Boutique or Value Village, <laughs> and you hunted out these gems from all over Alberta, antique pieces. Uh, now, we're going to talk a little bit with David about the wine list here, because this is something that you put a lot of care in putting together. Uh, our wine director has done a fantastic job. Mm -hmm. uh, he's put together this really eclectic uh, and very, very, uh, very nice list. Uh, it is all almost completely 100% organic or biodynamic yeah. uh, or handmade uh, or uh, low intervention uh, like the Lockenworth Rosé. I recognize. Uh, Naramata, beautiful, just stunning. They have, they've let the farm do the talking. Yeah. Uh, after, uh, after it's been picked, harvested, uh, they throw it in a bottle and it tastes amazing. It this is what wine like. should taste like. Right, it, yeah, absolutely. It tastes like another. And uh, now, are you finding that there's a great appetite for rosés? Oh, the, uh, it's the time for it. As soon as the weather turns and patios open, uh, rosé is where it's at for sure. Maybe that's your future today because it is patio weather. Okay, you're going to make us a delicious cocktail here this morning. So Absolutely. What are uh, Boulevard A. Uh, equal parts, which is a really interesting uh, style of cocktail. So we've got uh, some Buffalo Trace bourbon. Mm -hmm. Full ounce of that. And why is that an interesting style of cocktail? Equal uh, parts. It, not typical. Often cocktails are bits and bobs. Right. This is a uh, uh, proper amount of everything. Okay. Then Campari, we've got a bitter element. Mm -hmm. And then finally, last but not least, sweet vermouth. We've got a sweet and bitter option in there. Now, that's not shaken. That is not shaken. Uh, this is straight spirit. So, Cocktails, straight spirit. Uh, if you shook it, you would find uh, little tiny bubbles into the cocktail. Right. Uh, and it, the textural, it's just not very appetizing. As well, you can't control the dilution. Okay. And dilution is, is the best part of this cocktail is that it's still, that's beautiful. It's still nice and uh, booze forward. And over a nice cube like that too. Beautiful cube. And Garnished with? A little orange zest, just to brighten it up. Oh, that looks like summer. Beautiful. Thanks Wonderful. so much, David. We'll see you on the patio. Okay, see you on the patio. Mm -hmm. How about that?